Hello everyone, this is Sadria and you're watching and listening to Heart of Gold Inspiration. Now today is Monday, Motivated Monday. I hope you all are ready to have a great Monday, a marvelous Monday. Now over the weekend, I hope you had time to have fun, relax, recharge, and get ready for your week. Whether you're working a full-time, part-time job, whether you are a stay-at-home mom, or you're an entrepreneur, whatever you're doing this week, or if you're retired and you just like, what are we going to do this week? Whatever you have planned, I hope you're ready to enjoy, be motivated, to have a wonderful Monday. Now, over the weekend, I started feeling not feeling so good on Friday. I've been dosing myself with medicine and... I made myself get up on Saturday and do a couple of errands. I actually washed my car and cleaned the inside. You know, it still smells so new. And then I also came home. I got myself a little public sandwich, a little deli sandwich, and came home, had a little smoothie, took some more uh, vitamins, and just was determined to feel better. Of course, that wore off really quick because out in that heat washing the car, was a no-go, even though it was earlier in the day. So I came home, sat in my chair, fell asleep, woke back up, did a couple of loads of laundry. Then I said, okay, tomorrow I'll finish. So when I got up Sunday, I was like, oh boy, I don't have much time to do what I had planned. So I was into a boosting cleaning mood, okay, mode. I was like, I don't know, maybe it's pre-fall cleaning for me. <laughs> I rearranged downstairs and organized my cabinets and underneath the sink and downstairs in the kitchen and uh, moved tables and I don't know. It happens, okay? I don't know about you, but it happens to me. So I was also preparing for this week, which is my baby granddaughter, Kaylee. It's going to be her ninth birthday. Now, Wednesday is her birthday, and I'm excited to celebrate another year of life for that life. Um, she is amazing. She is beautiful. She is vibrant. She is everything I know her mother had prayed for her to be. Now, it is also a bittersweet day because it is the day we do honor her father, who also passed away on that day. So those bittersweet days and this week rolling into September through the whole month of September, it becomes a challenging one as a grieving parent because it is next month will be Brianna's, next week will be her anniversary death date and then following a week later her birthday. So of course in the beginning it was very difficult for me as a grieving parent and I struggled a lot because the pain was so much to bear. But going through therapy and working through and journaling and just writing my feelings and really exploring everything, the connection between my daughter and myself. And I just realized that my love, my love is everlasting. The love never dies. The memories never fade. They are still with you. It is up to you to keep those memories alive hold on to that love and share that love with everyone around you and so I make sure that I give my grandchildren extra extra love because they are an extension of their mother it's like me holding her again and loving her again so for those of you who are grieving grieving parents grieving siblings grieving spouses grieving grandparents, sisters, brothers, cousins, friends. Know that the love you have, that is what connects you to that person in your memories. So hold on to them. Write them down. I've been writing down memories that bring me joy of my grandparents, my aunts, and uncles, Brianna. I write those memories down so that I have them to read and to go back because sometimes as we get older, yes, sometimes our memory fades. 
but I have those words that I've written, those memories I get to read and remember the time and smile and laugh and cry. So are we ready for today's affirmation? Well, let's get to it. I will be motivated to make this a week filled with love, remembrance, and peace. I can and I will make it a sensational week. And there you have it. I hope each and every one of you have a sensational week a celebration of life week and as I end if you are not a registered organ donor I encourage you to be one you can go to our website at Brianna's Heart of Gold she has our very own Donate Life campaign called BHG 7 and 7 one of our missions is to register 7,000 registrants and 7 years to honor the life of Brianna Brooks who gave life to 4 people we also raising funds for her scholarship. We will be awarding her first scholarship next year to a student here in our county going into the medical field. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about what today will bring. Have a motivated Monday. Make it a motivated Monday.